the important thing again is you know our political environment is so somehow corrupted and uh, if you check economic world economic forum research around trust in politicians in nigeria out of 137 countries of eight nigeria became number 130 it means we are number 130 in terms of politicians, meaning we don't trust politicians at all because of the series of disappointments that happened to us. Why do this happen? Simply because the young people refuse to take their responsibility. We shielded our responsibility for the generation that's supposed to mentor and guide and rest. They need to retire and relax. It is our responsibility. We can't become agent of change. We need to be the change. And that is what we need to do. So we always often take a back seat and make a very convenient way of blackmail and pointing blames and refusing to take responsibility. So it's time for us to rise up and take responsibility. Somebody like me who is approaching 36 years, I'm 35. I'm contesting for the president with a very robust manifesto that I believe can transform Nigeria between 2019 to 2035 to one of the greatest nations in the world that will liberate about 180 million Nigerians out of poverty, that each and every Nigerian will live at least above ten dollars per day if i can build a structure like this with my own team i believe young nigerians are fully ready so let us rise up and take responsibility let's not blame apc let's go and join apc let's be the next oyogu let's be the next chairman of apc let's go and join pdp let's be the chairman and the delegates in those organizations let's be the presidents let's be the senators let's be the reps let's be the governors let's be the state out of assembly let's hold our nation and continue making it better. Our elders have done their best. The best that they have done is what we are seeing now. So we don't expect better than what we are getting from them, as I see it, because the statecraft model of the 20th century that built them, shaped them, and guided the ideology is different from the statecraft model of the 21st century demand that is defined by supply chain world order. So we, the younger generation of Nigerians, are all driven by supply chain. I need to buy, you need to sell, and then we connect, and things are done. That is what we need, not bomb, security, border, blockade. We don't need this. So we need to come and shape the country to work for all of us so that we can put ourselves first and empower ourselves. My reaction to that simply is trying to tell them that we have a country. We have thousands of people dying in this country. We have millions of people going out of jobs in this country. I am not contesting the president of Nigeria for any gratification. I have a thriving business. I love even so much. I love my business. I love what I do. You know, so for this reason, if this love I have for my business can push me out and said I want to be the president of this country to fix my country, then I believe it is in the interest of all the traditional rulers, the governors, the presidents, the people within the party and everybody to channel their energy to building the country, not taming an individual that have a genuine desire to see the greatness of its country. It's politics, it's democracy. Let's meet at the ballot. Let people decide.